Okay, welcome to part four of the set up your own Raspberry Pi for monitoring greenhouses or whatever you want to monitor. Uh, this will be a relatively short video. We're just going to go into setting up our Pi GPIO so that we can uh, do all the necessary functions. So uh, I will drop links in the description below. Um, basically all we're going to do is go into PuTTY or go to your uh, Raspberry Pi desktop and go to the terminal window. Uh, we're going to use this command right here. Um, sudo apt-get install python-dev python-rpi.gpio um, so real simple we just put that command in and execute it uh, we say yes when it asks us if we want to use this additional space It'll take a little bit to download and install. It's relatively short, so I'm probably not going to speed this video up in order to make this faster. You can always jump ahead. Excuse me, I'll have a sip of my coffee. This will be the last integral piece of our install before we go into Apache, MySQL, PHP, and the more complicated stuff. All right, so that's installed. Um, it's really that simple, uh, pretty straightforward. Like I said, I'll drop links to both this page and also to the overview page, which goes into a little bit more description um, about the GPIO pins and what they do, how they're used, that sort of thing. Uh, we're not going to get anything into anything hardware related just yet. We want to get all the rest of the software set up. Anyway, uh, this is just a short video to show you how to install RPI GPIO. And uh, this is step four in our series of videos about how to set up a Raspberry Pi for a greenhouse monitoring or remote controls, heating systems, whatever. So uh, with that said, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.